everyone. Thanks for tuning back in with me. Before we start this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. This video is thanks to my friend Eric. He is a fellow CSUN grad. Uh, he recently posted about this company who is buying artisan goods and marking them up at like extreme prices. And so I wanted to do my own research. So let's get into it. A few days ago, people tweeted about a company called the Verve Cultures insane markups on basic goods. They said things like, just saw a company, Verve Culture, on IG try and sell a tortilla press and molcajete for $60. For the love of God, can people of color have anything for themselves without white people stealing everything? I wanted to see for myself, so I went on their website and this is what I read. After becoming disillusioned with the mass produce products prevalent in the marketplace, we started to seek products that were more unique and have heart and soul. They continued by saying, as the world moves towards mass production, artisan crafts die. Join us in sustaining artisan traditions for future generations. Reading that reminded me so much of the white savior complex. The white savior complex. The white savior complex is demonstrated when affluent people travel to a new country in order to save the local people who lives there. These philanthropists usually do believe they are making a difference. They have good intentions. They go into the country thinking that they know best, that it is their job to save the country. They think, if I don't do it, who will? It is no sole person's job to save a country let alone one he does not even live in. Verve Culture believes that they are saving artisan goods and keeping these items alive, when in reality, that's far from the case. Items like clay jars, molcajetes, and so many other items on their website will continue to exist. They even say it themselves. In one of their descriptions, they write, a Mexican staple passed down by the Aztecs. Don't you think that if it's been passed down since then, it's going to continue to be passed down now? You can't shop for culture like if it's a costume and you can wear and try once. Websites like these are problematic because sometimes they don't help the artisans that they are buying from, or they sometimes buy them at a wholesale price. Now, I'm not saying that Vervet Culture is doing this, but the fact is that their items are overpriced. I understand that they must make a profit in the business of reselling, but by how much? I reached out to the company in hopes of getting their side of the story, and they did respond to me. I will post the email thread right here, and you can pause the video if you like. I personally feel like they were giving me the runaround when all I asked for was an email response with the questions that I had asked them, but I did not receive that, so I'm just going based on what they have on their website. Sadly, they aren't the only company that is doing this. There are many companies that have been doing this for a long time. The only difference with now and back then is that we have the internet and people are quick to call out these companies who are overmarking items. I also reached out to one of the Mexican artisan workers who works with this company just to get insight on how much they buy his products, but I sadly didn't receive a response. He actually hasn't even seen the message as far as I know. I like helping the people, especially our people and different ethnic communities. So I will give you some info on where you can buy these items directly from the source. Starting with Mexico. If you're looking for hot chocolate, you can go to Instagram and hit up Chocolate de la Villa Real. I'll put their page here. And their website is on the link where you can go and order your chocolate from there. Also, if you look at the site and you see a bunch of cool like clay pots and stuff, I'll also give you the Instagram to that artisan maker. And his IG, his IG handle is mrodopila. Rodo I'll just put the picture right here. Um, and you can hit him up for anything you want based on clay pots and any other uh, artisan goods that you see on their website. You can go directly to him and he you know, we'll sell them to you. I'm sure at a cheaper price than what it costs on their website. And for anything else Mexican-wise, like the molcajete or uh, a lemon squeezer that they have on their website or the uh, tortilla maker, you can go to your local Mexican store, which is pretty much anywhere, um, and buy them there directly. And they're a lot cheaper. Now for Thailand. I wasn't able to find much, but what I did find was their bestseller, and it's on Forbes, which is their Thai for two, I believe. And it's like the curry kits. So I was able to find their supplier who they get their items from. And his name is Som Somkati Wong something. I don't want to mess up the name or like try to say it. So I'll just put like his name here and the info here. But his whole purpose of creating his company 
uh, was because he wanted Americans and different people around the world to be able to try authentic Thai uh, spices and foods and curries. So he has a wholesale like store where you can personally buy it and it's called Suthro's brand. And that is a distributor of like the curry mixes and stuff. You can go to suthrosfood.com and buy the Thai cooking kits there which by the way will cost you $2.22, which is way better than the $12 that they're asking for in their website. So these are a few of the items that I was able to find online. The rest are kind of hard to find, but if you find some, then leave the comment down below so other people can look at them. And yeah, that's it for today's video, y'all. I hope you liked the video and leave a comment down below if you've already tried these products or if you like the different options that I have given y'all. All right, bye y'all.